What we need PET to do is public engagement because it's so crucial to this field and because they do it better than anyone else. We need PET to bring clarity by encouraging fertility professionals to use clear language to patients during fertility treatment when it includes donor conception. I need PET so the discussion of embryo editing will stick to science and not science fiction. I need PET to continue the conversation on the social and ethical implications of both new and emerging reproductive technologies locally and across the globe. We need PET to continue doing the amazing work that they're doing for patients and clinics. They provide a really useful platform for updating everybody's knowledge, debate the controversial issues, and challenge the existing dogmas. We need PET to help us to continue to engage in the nuanced conversations about the complex questions in front of us as we seek to bring the benefits of genomic healthcare to everyone. We need PET to continue to educate, enlighten and engage parliamentarians, the press and members of the general public about genomics and reproductive technologies. I would like PET to lead the ethical discussion around polygenics, the contribution of many genes to both disease and disadvantage. We need PET to continue to collaborate with researchers who are working across a range of disciplines in the field of assisted reproduction and genomics in order to keep our collective knowledge and understanding up to date and socially relevant. And I need PET to go global, to go big, to contextualise the stories and issues that you report on in a more international setting. So it seems that PET had better get cracking.